big picture, long-term impact of COVID on the healthcare system slash the hospital system? Please, Bob. Yeah, so, um, you know, the long-term impact on, uh, on hospitals and health systems from COVID is uh, really significant, starting from um, the financial impact. And, you know, it, we, we're going on two years. March 4th was our first, March 4th, 2020 was our first COVID patient. Um, and, you know, for in, in year one, 40% of hospitals across uh, the U.S. were operating in the red because a loss of revenue or additional expenses related to COVID. The 21 experience wasn't much different. And as we got into 22, with the Omicron surge, uh, we're seeing you know some uh, significant financial impact. So certainly, I think hospitals and health systems are going to have to reinvent themselves, reimagine themselves as they come out of this uh, pandemic and think about what's going to work and what's not. A couple other trends that you know I think will uh, emerge from this pandemic. One is technology and specifically um, telehealth. Uh, you know, we saw it surge during the first part of the pandemic. I think when the uh, lockdown occurred, about 80% of all um, health visits were being done um, through tele telehealth and tele telemedicine. That that did drop significantly when, when folks started to come out and started to go going back to their doctors in person, started using hospital emergency departments again. But I think overall, uh, we're probably going to see a steady rate of probably about 30%, 20 to 30% of all visits uh, will be done through, uh, through uh, telehealth. Um, the third trend I think you know, that is really apparent from COVID is the uh, impact that the pandemic has had on um, mental health, mental illness, behavioral health. So I think there's going to have to be, from the hospital perspective, from the health system perspective, a real focus on behavioral health issues uh, going forward. You know, um, th there, there's been a stigma for years and years. Some hospitals and health systems have tried to, to face this challenge head on. Others haven't. I think there'll be no choice going, uh, going forward. I'm Miles, and this is what I work for, to be my best for them and for me in body and in mind. I need a health insurer that helps me get the care I need for both, that has mental health professionals that I can talk to when I need to, because when I feel strong and secure, so do they. This is my life, and this is how Horizon Blue Cross Blue Shield of New Jersey works for me. Also brought to you by Horizon Blue Cross Blue Shield of New Jersey. Here when you need us most, now and always. Johnson & Johnson, The Fidelco Group, Investors Bank, New Jersey Sharing Network, The Healthcare Foundation of New Jersey, The Port Authority of New York and New Jersey, moving the region through air, land, rail, and sea, The Northward Center, and by The Robert Wood Johnson Foundation.